out of a new week. Uh, I haven't been doing anything differently. It's been everything exactly the same as normal. Um, my breakfast has remained the same. Um, I'm pretty much just following the rules, um, sticking to it, doing my exercise, making sure everything's fine. Nothing much happened uh, yesterday except for the fact that I've realized that um, I made two appointments for the same day and I've noticed that there are things happening such as um, I'm forgetting stuff. And I don't know if that's because I'm thinking about too many things. It probably is. Or stress. Possibly stress. Everything's fine. I'm remembering things. Just the most like important dates and stuff that i got to do. And, um, and things that I put off till later because I'm doing something else. And then I forget to do them. And then a couple of days go by and I haven't done them. And then I realise I haven't done them. And as soon as I realise I haven't done them, I do them. When I was younger, um, I used to put things off and I used to remember to be able to do them. And then things got done. And now I put them off because I'm doing other stuff. And then things don't get done. It's strange. Like, for instance, um, making this video. I kept saying to myself, right, we'll bring the camera upstairs. That was uh, two days ago. No. Yeah, two days ago because I brought it down on Saturday. And it's just been downstairs till now. And today is Monday. So that's all of Sunday, all of Saturday, all of Sunday. And the first few hours of Monday where I left the camera downstairs, even though I wanted to bring it upstairs and put it on a tripod to record this video, so <clears throat> there's that. I've also been noticing that um, I'm feeling a little bit like out of breath. Like um, it's not anything to do with my hands, just don't freak out. But I think it, I'm, it might be something to do with my blood pressure. And I think it's to do with the fact that I'm losing weight. And the amount of meds that I'm taking for my blood pressure is a little bit too high. I think we're getting to the point, not like there yet, but we're getting to the point where my blood is not running as fast as it should. I've slowed it down too much. So my pressure is a lot lower than it should be. And um, it's causing me to have a little bit of a a trouble getting my breath, which doesn't happen all the time, but usually after meds or when I'm talking like this for long periods of time, I find that I need to breathe a lot more. And yeah, it's not worrying. I mean, generally speaking, um, I need to keep on the road I'm keeping on and I need to do what I need to do and not use any of these things as an excuse like eating more fiber has caused me to have problems in certain areas we won't go into what areas but it's the too much fiber and my body's not used to it right you can make your own conclusions all these games in my steam folder and all i end up playing is minecraft <sighs> you know <clears throat> I've got so many games in my folders, um, in my Steam library, um, due to Humble Bundle, which, um, to be honest, I do because, well, you give money to charity and you get something in return, which uh, feels good to me. Um, I get something, someone else gets something, we're all hunky-dory, everything's good. And the money goes to charity to a point and some of it goes to the developers of the games. Usually indie games, I have a ton of them, um, I've hardly touched the surface of my Steam game library. Um, I've got so many games and all I'm playing on my PC is Minecraft. And it's a really powerful PC which I really should play more up scale games and I don't. 
odd. I mean, it's, I say that, I do play other games, but I mostly play Minecraft, and it is a bit weird. Now, what I've been noticing when I'm waking up, as per my weight loss vlog, when I get up in the morning, I'm hungry, like visceral hungry. I, I want to shove food in my, in my mouth, but it's almost as though I'm trying to fight against it and say no. I don't know if that will help, <clears throat> but I ignore it until I want to eat. You know, I don't listen to it until I, until I want to listen to it. You know, I, 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 I try to use willpower to stop myself from eating. <laughs> and I think I might be going overboard. I was from today, mysteriously, by the doctors. And I was like, well, Okay, so this is what happened. Might as well tell you. All right, doctor phoned me, um, apparently, and asked me if they could book an appointment for me to go in for an INR check of the doctors. Now, I am due one, so I'm thinking maybe flagged up on the system, but like, we don't have the fingerprint test, the fingerprint test. Uh, the doctors, or at least we didn't. And now we do have the finger prick test at the doctors, it looks like. Which means that they must have bought the machine. Because the amount of people that are uh, going to the, um, the doctors for an INR, uh, sorry, the, the hospital for one. INR is when they check your, um, the coagulation of your blood because I'm on warfarin. Um, It'll be good if, if they've got it at the, at the doctors, it'll make everything so much easier for me. I won't have to keep going up to the, not that I wouldn't keep walking, but I wouldn't have to keep going to the hospital waiting for hours to have somebody take a few vials of my blood every couple of seconds. I could just have them prick my finger. I rub a litmus paper, they stick it in the machine and it tells them. It'll be so, so, so much better if they've got that. On my uh, weight loss front, I'm doing exactly what I did last week, and I'm hoping this is uh, tomorrow is the day where I weigh. So we're gonna see if we've cracked it because the first week could have been a glitch. Ankles again, guys. I seem to like, I don't know, I just push it. So it's, some days I just push it. I feel like I want to, and then I realize the next day that I can't. Um, I walked fast yesterday, um, I had to go out twice, and um, normally only go out once a day, and that's because, I mean, I, I stay active, but if I do too much walking, my ankles uh, cripple me, uh, which means I, I just can't walk at all, so if I overdo it, and I did overdo it, it wasn't very good, it wasn't very good at all. And um, they're all right now, I suppose. I put some gel on and um, I rested them last night. Uh, I woke up um, around eight o'clock um, with my ankles throbbing this morning. And it wasn't fun. <clears throat> it wasn't fun at all. Today I get weighed. And depending on what the outcome is, uh, will be if we need to change anything and I'm telling you right now like I said before a hundred times if I need to change something I will do it because I am losing this weight I mean, I'm losing this weight this year that's what I'm doing I had a dream last night it was a weird dream and the dream was that I'd given up on my diet and that I'd eaten so much food that I couldn't get out of bed and that could be a reality if it really did do it. Imagine being stuck on your bed, not being able to move, but still feeling hungry. Oh, and then you'd have to eat, wouldn't you? But you knew that by eating more food, you're just causing yourself to die slowly. And that's what morbid obesity is. And I don't want to go there. I mean, 
I feel sorry for the people who are there, even if they've done it to themselves, because you can't get out of it. Once you realize what you're doing, what you've done, you can't, you can't, re there's a certain point where you couldn't reverse it. And, ho and luckily I didn't get there. I can reverse this, but wow. If I'd let it go too long, but I didn't. That's the main thing. Not as good as last week, but still a good outcome. And if I'm going to be totally honest with you, it's all right. Could have been better. But last week I had a bit of a celebration and um, it's my own fault. So this week, <clears throat> we know that if we keep to our plan and we introduce as much low calorie vegetables into our diet as we can to stave off whatever hunger I've got till I'm satisfied, we're gonna be losing weight every week. And it's gonna be, it's not gonna be like half, which is just horrible. So that's good. So what I've lost is two pounds. I hit my four and a half stone award at Slimming World. So now I am four and a half stone lighter than I've ever been. Um, I don't see much of a difference to my the um, the ankles for my weight, but the exercise is making them a lot more flexible. It's making it easier for me to to well, it's, get, it's making it easier to exercise. The more I exercise, the more I can exercise. So things are going good. Yes, and I'm going to see the positive side rather than the negatives. And that is that um, I'm accomplishing what I set out to do. Okay, I'm virtually deaf in one ear due to wax, but there's so many other things I have to tackle. But this one is one of the major ones and um, we're getting there. We're getting there. Thanks for watching the Great Fishes video. I hope you all have a great day. If you could subscribe, that would be heavenly. Throw my friend a like and share with your friends, and he will hopefully see you next time. Till then, peace be with you.